welcome to the wireless setup for your FOSCAM IP camera. If you could please open your IP camera tools, uh, double click on your camera. This is in the Google Chrome browser. Get login. There's a second prompt. Let's click on device management and we're going to go to wireless LAN settings. And under wireless LAN settings, you're going to click on using wireless LAN, check mark the box. It's going to ask for your SSID, uh, your encryption, and a passphrase. Uh, so we need to log into our router. Uh, to get your router's information, let's click on your IP camera tools and let's click on network configuration. Here, are your gateway. Whatever your IP address is, you may have a different IP address than the one you see here. Uh, this is a Linksys router. You may have a Netgear router, uh, an Airport Extreme, a 2-wire, a Belkin. Uh, use whatever IP address this is. So mine is 192.168.1.1. Now it's going to ask you to log into your router. Um, this is a Linksys uh, EA 2700. The default uh, username and password is admin admin. Now on your Netgear, on your Belkin, on your Airport Extreme, uh, you can either find uh, the default username and password uh, in your router's manual or you can Google it. You can Google in Netgear default username password or Belkin uh, default username and password. You may have also you know, written this down somewhere uh, right in the beginning when you were uh, installing uh, your internet connection. Okay, once you do log in, uh, you want to find the wireless section and uh, it'll be a pretty big icon uh, or some form of text. So on the links, this is right here at the top, it's fairly easy. So we're looking for the SSID, the security encryption, and the passphrase. Well, here's the SSID cam demo, uh, security encryption, security mode, WPA2, and the press phrase is Wi-Fi 1003. So this is case sensitive, so I have to remember it's a capital C. Cam demo, WPA2, there were other options. It really depends on which security encryption you have or what is your choice. And the share key was Wi Fi 1003. Okay, I'm going to click submit. Uh, the camera is actually connected via network cable right now. Uh, once this 30 seconds is up, then disconnect the network cable from your camera. Uh, once uh, you do disconnect it, and the Wi-Fi does work, um, then uh, you can, so your camera will probably be close to a router right now because you need the network cable to connect it to it. Uh, once the, the Wi-Fi process is done, you can then take your camera and you can go and mount it, uh, you know, either outside or on the ceiling or wherever it is you want and it'll, it'll, it'll keep this information that we put in it. So this, the Wi-Fi's SSID, okay, I'm disconnecting it right now. I'm disconnecting the network cable so it should disappear from here you got to give it another 20 30 seconds okay so it's just trying to configure right now and get the the Wi-Fi information but we already put in the SSID we put in the security encryption and we put in the passphrase so that information is inside the camera so even if you disconnect the power from the camera right now and so it did work if you disconnect the power from the camera, you want to go mount it outside or you want to go, you know, move it from your living room to the kitchen or you want to move it from the kitchen uh, to another location, it has this router's uh, information. Now, if you take the cameras uh, away from your house or from your office and you want to put it in another location, uh, it'll be connecting to uh, another router and you may have to put uh, the different information in. But basically, uh, the camera is working. There we go. It's not saying uh, unidentified anymore. 
Okay, so that concludes the wireless setup. I did want to show you one more thing on your router, just for future reference. The next uh, on the next guide is port forwarding, and on the Linksys router, it's under applications and gaming. Port forwarding. On your other routers, it might be under under advanced or firewall. Thank you very much.